G'day viewers, Michael VK3HAU and I thought I'd just do a quick video today of uh, new and old of my tool box on wheels so to speak this is my old toolbox here the Nissan D40 and this is the new one Ford Ranger four wheel drive five cylinder both diesel both four wheel drives I've got to get all terrain wheels for that but uh, I thought I'd give you a quick look over uh, the old and what I've got to do to uh, basically decommission it and um, we might do a separate video on all that as well but let's have a look at it so starting off inside the uh, D40 cab uh, the radios that we've got to pull out we've got a Simico radio here that's used for commercial channels uh, I use that mainly to monitor the commercial repeaters that we maintain uh, we've got a sat phone here I've covered up the mobile number so you can't see it but uh, yeah sat phone we use for uh, let's power it up uh, yeah, sat phone we use for um, if we, when we go up in the bush, we still maintain communications to the outside world. So, sat phone there. Yeah, registered, so it's connected. Uh, we've got a APRS display screen down here uh, for amateur radio. Um, packet positioning and that uh, screen gives me information of other amateurs that are around it gives me their uh, distance um, direction and speed on the display it's currently not connected at the moment because I've got the uh, uh, the tiny track 4 at the works in the workshop uh, it was connected to a radio that's no longer in this vehicle up here is the Tate radio that's used for both DELP and CFA operations as we do uh, work with uh, those guys and I'm in the CFA myself so I can actually um, talk to uh, Firecom. And Firecom aerial hunter is 78 in station. Turn it down. Over here we have a trunk radio. Uh, the trunk radio is used for um, similar to um, similar to uh, uh, what DELP use. They use trunk as well. Uh, but this is our own fleet. We have uh, so we've got conventional in there, and sh uh, which has got um, amateur frequencies in the conventional, and we've got uh, our own trunk fleet that. Um, we can contact each other in the fleet or we can even dial out on a on that as well for the trunk radio so that's this radio here this one's the tape and the one behind the tape down here that is the that is the uh, commercial channels a uh, commercial radio so we've got to pull all that out so that's the uh, cab let's have a look in the back so in the back of the uh, ute we have our uh, toolbox uh, with uh, trays that I've got to pull all the stuff out, the trays will stay. I've got a separate toolbox over there and there and we've got an overhead shelf that I usually store our spare CFA gear up here. Um, and other stuff that was up here has been pulled out down here we have a battery to run all the radios the radios run independent to the main car battery so the jumper leads there as well and they run or that i should say it runs from a separate charging unit the back here opens up as well
So we've got our shelves. We've got different stuff. This is a fold down shelf. Device on the side there. I'll show you the charging units on this side. We've got our little charger unit here. Our funder that uh, charges the secondary battery up that keeps the batteries, keeps the radios running. On this side here, we have our snow chains in there. Because the country we go in can be snowed under. So we must always carry snow chains. We've got our toolbox. Still got to pull all this stuff out. With all our tools in it. And over here, most of this stuff's been removed. Just different odd, odd sods, odds and bits and pieces. Yeah, so that's in the back. For nighttime use, we have an LED light strip up here, which we can turn on from the other side here. There's another LED light strip over here as well, which we turn on with this switch here. when we get a night call out that works quite well on the uh, roof we've got a 4G antenna there and here our 4G antenna turn that light off Four, two 4G antennas. I did have a 4G modem over here on this wall, which I've taken down at the moment. And I can uh, Wi Fi to that 4G modem on the laptop or whatever I've got if I needed the internet service. And then two antennas gives me a better signal. Then we've got our um, VHF antenna for the commercial radio. We've got our UHF antenna here for um, commercial radio. Sorry, this one's commercial radio. This one was for the trunk radio with the um, amateur frequencies. And then we've got our other VHF antenna here, which is for the uh, CFA radio. And we've got our two ladders up top there. And on the roof here, we have our little antenna puck for the satellite phone. And that's uh, just magnetically mounted. This sits there. It's just a magnet. And that's all we need for the uh, sat, sat phone. That's connected to the sat phone cradle. And we can actually pull the sat phone out of the cradle, like such. And we can put a um, external antenna on it, which I have got here somewhere. Not sure where it is, but anyway. Uh, external antenna goes in the back there, and we can walk around in the bush with this if we have to. Now in the back here, it is a absolute mess because I have already pulled a radio out and a portable charging unit. It usually sits here. The portable charging unit actually has a trunk portable radio that we carry around with us as well from uh, another customer that we uh, service. I won't say their name, um, but uh, that's been pulled out as well because it's in the other vehicle. So that's why the wiring here is a little bit of a mess because I've pulled radios out. And I didn't bother cleaning it up because all this has got to come out anyway. And last but not least, we have a scanner that was sitting here where the holes are. Um, but that was only in temporarily. 
we're doing some tests. So that's in a nutshell it. So I've got to pull all this uh, radio gear out and try and find room. Put it in the Ranger, which is going to be a nightmare. I was thinking, because most of these radios are remote head radios, and so the actual radios hide away and the heads mount in the dash. I was actually thinking of putting the remote body of the radio part up on the back of this board here which I've just put up here not long ago I've already mounted a strobe unit I'll get that going and show you that this is an old Telstra vehicle well it's not old but it's an ex Telstra vehicle and I've just um, tapped into this uh, tracking loom that they used to have a tracker on them uh, just to uh, power up this strobe unit to, for testing purposes I will put a switch on the dash somewhere but uh, we'll plug that in and that gives us us our strobes. So I hope you enjoyed that little bit of a view of uh, the toolboxes, or what I call toolboxes on wheels. Um, so the fun part is to pull all the radios out of this one and put it into this one. And that will probably be a separate video. Thanks for viewing. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing too.